It is a behind-the-scenes look at how U.S. diplomacy is carried out. Hundreds of thousands of State Department documents released by the whistleblower site WikiLeaks are revealing a hidden world of backstage international relations, divulging candid comments by and about world leaders, from allies such as Germany to nations like Libya. The cables contain new revelations about nuclear trouble spots, including fears of Iran's growing nuclear program. Britain's Guardian newspaper said some cables showed Saudi King Abdullah repeatedly urging the U.S. to attack Iran to destroy the program, and that leaders of other Arab nations referred to Tehran as an existential threat. Those documents may prove the most problematic, because even though the Gulf Arab states' concerns are known, their leaders rarely offer such stark talk in public. There were also American concerns over Pakistan's nuclear arsenal, discussions of a unified Korean peninsula as a long-term solution to North Korean aggression, and Washington's efforts to get other nations to accept Guantanamo detainees. The documents also contain American memos encouraging U.S. diplomats to collect detailed data about the U.N. Secretary General and foreign diplomats, going beyond what's considered normal diplomatic information gathering. Italy's foreign minister calls the document release the September 11th of world diplomacy, in that everything once accepted as normal has now changed. But while the revelations are likely to pose a problem for officials involved, the documents did not contain anything explosive. I'm struck by the analogy of what some man might tell his wife about his mother-in-law, that he would not at all care to have his wife then repeat to his mother-in-law, uh, and might find it quite damaging in his marriage. The White House blasted the release, saying it puts American diplomats and intelligence professionals at risk. The New York Times, one of the media outlets that reported on the documents, said the cables serve an important public interest in illuminating American diplomacy. The Times said it invited the administration to challenge the publication of anything it deemed would hurt the national interest and agreed to some proposed changes, but not all. WikiLeaks's founder says the administration's trying to cover up alleged evidence of human rights abuse and criminal behavior by the U.S. government. Sagar Megani, The Associated Press, Washington.